last video that we did, we talked about paragraph styles. In this video, I want to talk about character styles. So with the paragraph style, it applies to an entire paragraph, whether I select it or not. So for example, I'm clicked into this paragraph. If I were to click heading one, it puts that entire paragraph in that heading one style, not just the word I'm clicked into. So this can be a bit problematic. For example, let's say you had a book and you wanted to mark words that were gonna be part of your glossary and you want those to be bold and italic. Instead of you having to go through and mark bold italic on all those words because, you know, first of all, it's two steps instead of one using a character style. And uh, second is that if I ever wanna change it later on down the road, maybe I just want bold. Well, I'm gonna have to go through my whole document and make that adjustment. So again, using styles just like it was with paragraph styles can be very beneficial in this particular example. So I'm gonna show you how you can use preset character styles. Now, to access the additional styles, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the Home tab. And on the Home tab, you have a Styles section here and you have what is called a, a Styles button. And it's found in the corner of the Styles group there. If I click that, it pops up my styles panel on the side. And you can see I have a bunch of different styles here. Once marked with the paragraph marker icon on the side are paragraph styles. And ones marked with an A are character styles. Now I want you to watch something. So if I just select one word and I were to click a preset character style, I'm going to use the one called book title here. See, it's gone bold and italic. Maybe some other formatting is built into that. Not the entire paragraph, just that one piece that I selected. So I'm going to select another piece, one more piece. I've applied this character style throughout my text. Now, the big advantage here is, like I said, after the fact, if I want to change that, if I had done this manually, bold italic, well, I got to go back and manually change it. Whereas now, because I've used this character style, what I could do is I can click into one of the words, go over to my character style here, click the drop down arrow, modify. And let's just say I don't want it to be bold, I just want it to be italic. So I'm gonna unactivate bold here, okay? I'm gonna click okay. You'll see in my document automatically takes off bold. Maybe I want it back. Click the drop down, hit bold, brings it back. You know what, I'd like to switch the color to green. And you can see these changes become instant, instantaneous. So whether you're gonna be applying paragraph styles or character styles, they're gonna save you a ton of time. And specifically with character styles, it will just apply to text you have selected, not the entire paragraph.